Projectors in shape emulate projectors in the real world. Analysis tools can be used to find the ideal projector locations and angles to aid the pre-production team in planning. And once the planning is over and you're on site, projectors can also be patched to real world projectors. They can be aligned, warped, masked and blended inside shape. So let's have a look at how to add projectors. So if we go to create projector, or well, the shortcut for that would be Alt P, and here we have our projector. Now let's just have a look at the properties up here. So again, you can lock projectors. You see the wireframe turns red. You've got the visibility in the scene. You've got the color here, so we can change the color of this specific projector. Uh, hide model, so this would hide all the models uh, on the output, essentially disabling that projector. You can also enable disable the blending and enable disable the warping on the output. So in the object properties, you can change the name of the projector, its position and rotation. You can change the resolution of the projector here. And you've also got the aspect ratio of that resolution. Uh, here you've got the field of view, which 3D guys uh, talk in field of view, and throw ratio, which projectionists talk in. So you can see how those two relate. Uh, we've also got the horizontal and vertical lens shift as well. Render objects. If this is ticked, this object will be rendered on the output. If you have multiple objects, then you can enable and disable individual objects. And if as mask is ticked, then it will render that object as a 3D mask. It will just be rendered black. Statistics underneath show you how many models the projector can see. So currently it can see one model with this many vertices and faces. And if we move the projector off to the side, you can see there's no models are seen. Uh, output properties. Flash will flash the output. It's easy to see which projector you're working with. And also you're quite often working in the dark on these projects, so it's quite nice to light up your scene. Uh, render mode, here you have wireframe, the same as the display modes here, so you can change how your output is rendered. Uh, wireframe is nice for your setup, but of course during the show you'll always be in textured. Um, visibility, so again we have the show models, which we saw the shortcut for up here. Uh, show controllers on the output, show the up angle. If your projector is rigged on the side, then showing the up angle and to vertical, which you can change just here in the up angle, will aid you when doing alignment and warping and etc. Something we'll talk about in those videos. Show grid, you can show the grid on your output. You can also show selected vertices. So when you're editing the model and you select a vertex, you'll see that on your output. And you can also show input location, which is used when auto aligning your projector.